What's up boys, it's been a minute since the last scouting report but I'm back and this time we're gonna go over Josh Brook and I don't want to say how many games uh, I've watched him play last year but the correct answer would be too much, I've watched a ton, uh, I like his game a lot so I blitzed through all the game last year he played and I know if you're an abs fan you should know him pretty well by now but my goal for this video is for you to learn a thing or two about him that maybe you didn't know before watching this video so let's jump right in. Okay so here is Josh Brook profile so I'm gonna go really quickly he was the second round pick in 2017 probably the already know that and last year he had a really really solid year 75 point in 59 game and just to show you how good this year was I'm gonna use a little tool if you're a prime member you will have access to that a prime member on elite prospect really sweet tool so just to give us a little idea of how good of a season it was you can go under here in stats under WHL and you just choose defenseman here uh, since he was playing is 20 years old so it's draft plus two year uh, and here I put 16 goal 75 point in uh, 59 games so it, that's 1.27 point per game and I dra I look for uh, 2000 and 2001 and we, you do apply here and you see BAM he's the only one with those stats so he's a goddamn beast uh, if let's say we just want to look for player that uh, defenseman that add uh, more than 1.27 point you remove those let's say 20 game minimum apply and you can see uh, there's quite a few good name here there's Travis and I'm Jonathan Bloom Kel Clegg so just to give you an idea it's a fun tool to use to know if the how good the season was okay let's roll the clips uh, and i have a lot for josh brook uh, the first thing i want to talk about and i was really impressed i didn't know how good he was at doing this specific aspect of the game and it's a shoot pass uh, un tir passe en français pour les québécois patrice brisebois would be proud of him uh, he is He's honestly amazing at the uh, slap pass and I don't think I've seen uh, anyone better than him. He's one of the best. It's kind of an, a lost art. We don't really often see defensemen using this weapon, but I really wish coaches would try to teach that to younger kids because personally when I was younger, I never really worked on that. Really, it was really effective, especially on the power play. They score a ton of goal. So you'll see I have a gazillion amount of clips of example and this is just this year alone. He, do he was doing it repeatedly it was always working so he just kept on doing it over and over again and collecting assists the number one reason why I think he's so good at this it's vision because at the end it's still a pass so you need to be able to see the passing lane to hit the stick uh, it's there's a level of anticipation as well and also when he shoot directly to the net he will often do like softer shot to control the rebound try to predict where the rebound's gonna go and if you slap at 100 miles per hour the rebound's gonna be impossible to get for the forward in front of the net but he do he does a really good job just shooting just hard enough for the forward to catch the rebound pretty easily Another thing that I noticed with uh, Josh Brook is usually on the power play, I like when the defensemen play on their offside so they can uh, do one timer, but with him he's a lot, a lot more better on his uh, right side when he's on the right side and uh, you have the uh, Gretzky office behind the net and this is where I call the um, Josh Brook office so when he's in that spot he's absolutely deadly and this is gonna translate so even in the uh, NHL AHL no matter what if you put him in that spot he's always gonna shine no matter what especially on the power play and last year I want to give a big uh, credit to the coaches in uh, Moose Jaw because they did a lot of damage I think they had the second best power play and most of the year, the old game plan was to give the puck in this in this uh, exact same uh, situation to Josh Brook. And all year long, he was killing it on the power play, doing his thing, producing. And most of the time, you're going to notice most of the offense was coming from this spot, the Josh Brook office. For Tracy, dishes off Almeida, rink wide, Brook scores! To the goal line, Lang and back to Brook on the right boards. High slot, Tracy, left circle, Almeida. Back door, Brook! From Caden Taporn, it went wide. 
Tapborn collects his own rebound off the board, centering pass, Brook walking in back door. Since the power play was such a big reason of why uh, Brook had a good season, I want to take a few seconds and try to dissect it down a little bit. So if you are watching here, it's a, kind of a, an umbrella with a forward in the middle, and also there's no guy in front of the net. So coaches out there, take note, you don't need to have a big uh, forward in front of the net, but watch how well they're using the guy that's down low. In this clip, they are putting the D in a very tough spot, because now he has to worry about Josh Brook shot and also the other guy that was beside the net and since the defenseman commit to the shot that leave the passing lane wide open and Josh Brook is really good at reading those kind of play and here more of the same Josh Brook again in, in his office so you can see is always scanning the ice so the first time around there's no real option the second time he's gonna make a nice backdoor passes and in the end no real option so he's gonna up to shoot the puck and finish himself for this second part we're gonna switch the pace a little bit and this is something that was really impressive that i started to notice uh, after a couple of game is that he's excellent at keeping the play alive in the offensive zone so you can call that pinching just being aggressive at the right time and keeping plays alive so all in all this when you add it together this help uh, your offense a lot so a lot of time you will see a, a more conservative uh, player defenseman that you will just go down in his zone instead of trying to to keep the play alive but josh brook is excellent at reading the situation the play and just pinching and uh, the puck just stays in the zone for the next sequence take a look at the time this is from the same shift not one not two but three time what a goddamn beast the end boards plays it around brook pinches from the right line on the half wall into the corner gets his way to the blue line josh brook reaching as he keeps that puck in straddles the blue line Racing inside the circle puck comes up right boards brook pinches moves it into the corner almeida Top to the right boards. Tracy drives the net. Martinson backhanded to the line, held in by Brook. Good job, Josh Brook. To... And even when he played at the end of the year with the Laval Rocket, he kept doing the same thing, pinching at the right time, and he never really got cut too much out of position. So I think this is something he's going to keep doing very well, uh, even against stronger competition. For the third thing I like about his game, it's his ability to make a great first pass. And if we think about it, this is something maybe the uh, abs organization are lacking a little bit. So if you look currently at the pro roster with the abs, uh, I don't really see a lot of defensemen with great first pass. Uh, Petri is more of a puck mover. Weber is going to do like easy pass but doesn't have a great vision. Uh, other than that, Mete is more a puck mover with his feet. Um, so really, even in, in Laval, uh, with guys like Learnout, uh, Schlenichka, Hausner, they were, they were really struggling with the first pass. And uh, if you want to have good offense, you need it start from the back end. And with Josh Brook, I think he's going to become easily the best uh, first pass guy in the organization. Best vision at the... Free of Popple, and then worked free by Moose Jaw, taken by the captain, Josh Brook. Roblin Manitoba probably he'll go off the glass and out Josh Brook picks it up just inside his own blue line Brook stepping out from behind the net watched by Parker Kelly he'll advance Brook gives a shot back to Luke Ormsby Josh Brook pulls it free for Moose Jaw he'll advance up through neutral ice Josh Brook over the red line Hamilik Hamilik back for Josh Brook Brook surveys his options he'll Kay and Damon Hunt loose puck comes free to Josh Brook and the all-star defenseman and the defenseman. After the game, intervention of Galan, who will return to the des sièges pour reprendre. Now, defensively, I've put together a few clips uh, of his defense. So he's not the greatest defensive player, but uh, he's not that bad a, as well. So since he was playing also quite a bit of minute in the junior. He was making a few mistakes when he was tired, but other than that, I think he's an okay defensive player. His bread and butter is going to be the offense and his vision and the power play, uh, power play for sure. But defensively, he was pretty good. Even in, in the AHL, he was doing a good job uh, in the 1v1 situation. In terms of player comparison and what I think he could be, um, if we're very lucky and optimistic, I could see him becoming maybe something lighter than uh, Alex Pietrangelo 
or maybe even John Carlson. But I mean, it's a big reach. I think a more realistic comparison will be someone like maybe in terms of point production, Justin Falk in uh, Carolina. This would be more fair to uh, Josh Brook. To finish this off, I have a few random clips that are pretty good. So we're going to start with this one. Uh, Josh Brook doing some fancy stuff behind the net. And I like it. And this one, the best play of all season. I'm going to let you finish watching it live. All right, Walter. Tristan Langan back down low. Brook between his legs scores. Oh! Forwards do that all the time. How many times have you seen a defenseman do that? And at full speed in stride with a couple of guys on top of him. Wow, that is going to get replayed everywhere. What a goal! Warriors keep it in. Langan and Brook kind of working a, a give and go there, Smitty. And Josh Bro So I'm gonna wrap up the video on this beautiful goal. And if you couldn't tell already, I'm a huge fan of Josh Brook. I think he's gonna be a abs in a year or two for sure. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. This one took me a lot of time.